the clubs travel. So there's a, a, a whole lot of improvement. Mm. And that is why I always appreciate our men and, and women in uniform. The sacrifice they've made. A lot of soldiers have died in this battle. We've lost so much. These men and women, our brothers, our cousins, our fellow countrymen, they have laid down their lives. Indeed. Best of brains. We're cooked. And, uh, so they, and so those sacrifices must be upheld. Okay. Now, uh, hold on. So the word decimate, technically yeah. decimated or okay. whatever you want to put it. Decimate means to eliminate, annihilate, extinguish, eradicate, wipe out, carry off. <laughs> Killing large numbers. That is journalistic interpretation. No, 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 maybe, no. I'm just reading from a dictionary. Maybe, uh, no, yes. I thought I said the books. Nigeria That I said the books and the reality are two different things. Okay. Now, 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 oh, now okay. no, no, no. Let, 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 let me just finish your question. Let me just finish your question in, 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 in a minute. When the Nigeria Delta where I come from was boiling, we know what these two the issues are. Lives you have been lost on a daily basis. Everything. We apply the amnesty level. It will be a painful pill for me to swallow that we should give Boko Haram amnesty. It will be a painful pill, sincerely. But right now, with the level of which they have degraded, let me not say you, let me let me not say that, degraded, not decimated, not decimated, no, okay. degraded the 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 the, the, the insurgents, mm. those who are ready for amnesty that could give come and get it. that could give okay. a lasting solution. I think it's an option. That the government should seriously look into with a good international backing. Okay, Tanwa, connecting the dots. Yes. Decimation, annihilation, and all of mm -hmm. that. So, how do we connect the dots? Because mm -hmm. they have said, he used the example of, the, of Afghanistan and mm -hmm. Syria, where the insurgency is still raging and all of that. I mean, you, you went, you were, I think you were in Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Okay. Yes. Oh, so, thank God you came back. Thank <laughs> thank <God>. <laughs> <laughs> now, what is how can we get out of this um, cycle of connect the dots and still communicate? Because I, yeah. I check that word decimate because of communication to the public. So how can we get connect the dots and still be able to communicate in um, sensitive security situations yeah. to the Nigerian populace so that they are also confident in the government and the security apparatus? You know, one of the clear issues that we have in this country right now, we are not all on the same page especially with regards to the security architecture. So we need focus and we need a strategy. Like we all, when I say we, I'm talking about the executive, I'm talking about all the different leaders and all the different agencies. They all need to be on the same page right now. And we're not seeing that. One of the main issues we've seen, even with regards to the war right now, is information. There's a lot of information on the ground. It's not traveling up adequately. And vice versa, the ones who are getting information at the top, it's not filtering down to the troops around the ground. So there's just such a poor communication back and forth, both vertically, horizontally, it's just not working out right now. So if you ask me, even the talk about amnesty right now is just off, you're off focus, you're off target. If you're looking at things from a strategic point of view, Bill Gates said the same thing. Apparently, I even said the same thing at SecureX before he did. Education. If the amount of money we're pouring into defense, if we would really just kind of focus on tweaking the education system so that we can better the economy, then we're not looking at having to pay criminals off. Must we always do that? An arm robber come and st comes and steals your thing, and then we go and say, okay, you know what, take money, don't be an arm robber again. Why would you do that? So it's just, it's completely off focus. It's showing us a government who's not thinking long term. And right now, what we need is a government that has focus, a long-term strategy that, you know what, even when I'm gone, if this is the goal, we want Nigeria to get to this point so that our youth are educated. The key disaster that's going on in the Northeast right now is the schools that are closing down. Because for me, that shows that we have no future over there. You're seeing children who are constantly taking you know, drugs or medicating themselves just for them to be sane. Able-bodied men and, and boys and girls have nothing to do. Wasting human capital. So if we're going to have focus over the next couple of years, if you're going to bring peace in this country over the next couple of years, number one, be on the same page, everybody. Number two, improve communication, both going up and down, information on the ground, which there's a lot of good information that the troops have, but they can't even filter it up to the HQ properly so that the guys in the HQ can cook the stew and actually show you the big picture. Improve on that. And then number three, education, make it a national security priority.
We have to, because when you better that, when you engage the young minds, you move them away from just channeling the energy towards rubbish, to us focusing on bettering the economy and reducing crime overall. So S focus. State of emergency in the education sector. Absolutely. Now we have to start winding down now. We haven't even had time to talk about the herdsmen and kidnappings. They, I mean, there's so, when you talk about security, there is so much that's involved in it. Um, when we talk about security, how can the common man better secure himself? Let's close with that. Let's just take that around. Because that's what the, the people watching us are going to be thinking about today, watching this program. How can I secure myself, my family, in this country that is so uncertain where security is concerned? <clears throat> security is a collective um, responsibility. Um, on your own, you can't achieve much. But if we come together as a people to work together, I think that that's when we'll be able to. We can, that's why we see um, communities coming together to say uh, we're trying to provide some level of security vigilantes, security men, to provide securities in various communities. Uh, for, for me, I would like to say that um, we need to do more on education, security education. We need to provide more information to the people. Okay, oh, well, I, I like that bit about security education, but we'll take off from there when we we'll come back from this break. Security education. So it's not enough to just talk education. We also need to, how do you say, focus it? You use the word focus. Okay, we'll be back in a break. Don't go away. Welcome back. So we were talking about education and um, Cher, you said you mentioned security education. Should that be for the entire country? Of course, there's so much ignorance right now uh, in the country as to what is expected. You cannot compare the level of knowledge that um, a, an average Israeli has to a Nigerian. And because they know that they are in constant state of war, and they need to train and develop their people, just like as Plato, you know, uh, you know, spoke about in terms of how you uh, you prepare for the next generation. And that is what they followed. And you no, know, we we implemented something like that a little. I mean, in our educational policy, but are we implementing it right now? The question is no. And then there is need for you to continue. I mean, to reveal these things, so to to take care of the current uh, realities on ground. So it's important right now that we need to now put security in our education curriculum right now, start preparing our children from when they were right from the uh, impressionable age to begin to understand that um, we're living in the hard and trying times now. And it's important for them to, one, to train them on security, train them on loyalty, loyalty to the nation. That is, um, uh, what's the other word they, they call that? Uh, patriotism. Patriotism. Uh, so we need to start that right now. You will be surprised that by the time in the next 15, 20 years, you have a different generation of Nigeria with self-awareness, loyal, and patriotic. But, uh, the question will be, contribute. how do you teach loyalty to a child when he sees that you, you are yeah. telling him to carry this, but somebody else who is his age mate just walks in. You tell him, carry this for you to enter there. But the other person just walks in, maybe because of one privilege or the other that he has. How do you expect that child to Now, be if we're able to uh, put the narrative... Please take note, I'm sorry. You cannot legislate patriotism. You can't. You cannot legislate. See, that yes. is a way in you which... You can't this... make a law that we all have to be patriotic. Yes. But you can <laughs> make a law that would infuse certain okay. ingredients in our daily life that will preach patriotism. Now, no when matter you begin, how much you preach it, you will not achieve it. Patriotism is something that you feel, something that, should I say, comes to you based on what you experience. It is very simple. I will tell Your you. Your loyalty to Nigeria, I have to now quote uh, J.F. Kennedy again. Okay. Not what, you can, not, not what your country can do for you. But what you can do for your country. Much, and you're doing those things for your country because you feel that your country is looking after you. Don't underestimate the then power, you feel the that power patriotism. of dogmatism. I will tell you, see, 
I had my impression about Nigeria before joining the, the, the DSS. But when I went through the DSS program, my thinking, my perception 